So we're going to talk about the recruits, and, uh, and I, I feel bad, to be honest. And Tom and I had talked about it today, signing day, and you got a game. You know, there's no way we could have a press conference this afternoon, but um, we thought we'd get, you know, hopefully get a win. At halftime, I was like, oh, my goodness. Um, but, you know, get a win and then uh, have some time to talk about the, the, the class, the group. Uh, you know, can't be, you know, very excited about it. There's no doubt with, you know, when you talk about the four guys that are playing now, um, young guys, there are three freshmen and David, and then you add this group, you, you feel very positive about it. I'm, I'm happy and proud of our staff. They work very hard. Um, and even our players do a great job. We get kids on campus, we have a great, great shot at them. And, and, you know, a lot of us getting them here. And uh, the family atmosphere, K-State, sells itself. Uh, they do a great job, but we got to get them here. But, uh, you know, the first one to commit was Nigel, the pack. Uh, back in June, Coach Lowry and, and I obviously have connections back in Indiana. Uh, you know, it just happened. He's a really good player, but a couple schools, uh, local schools there had taken somebody else. We took a chance and brought him in in June on an official visit when we never have really done that before. And we felt if we thought he was that good, that if we could get him here before everyone else saw how good he was, that we have a chance. And he committed to us on a visit. It shocked me. It shocked his mom. Um, but it was obviously we were excited. And then for what he did at Peach Jam was unbelievable. I mean, you, you, I don't, somebody, Tom might have said, first guy to get a triple double. We don't know that, but, but it, you know, triple double, two double doubles in 25 and eight. Pretty good. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure the rating guys, you know, to me, it's a bunch of, you know, I'm not even going to say. But, uh, you know, he, he, he was one of the best players there, and we're, we're so excited. He, he can score, but he all, obviously you get a triple-double, you can pass and do all, a lot of little things. Just has a great feel of the game. He's going to play on a, one of the best teams in Indiana. Uh, they have a chance. They hopefully have a chance to win that state championship. And so we're really pleased to get that. That gives us, you know, for our future – um, you know, it gives you another point guard because you, you always need that. You build with a point guard. I think you go back, Al McGuire used to talk about it years ago. What do you get, a big guy or a point guard? And, uh, you know, you need a big guy, but you better have the point guard. Otherwise, the big guy doesn't have much value. So um, the second one to commit was obviously Luke. Luke is, uh, we've worked him hard. Uh, we, you know, again, Coach Lowry, I have, you know, no St. Louis. We've worked him. We, uh, we have, I think the people there trust us. Um, you know, it goes back to SIU. We had our Sweet 16 team. We had nine kids from St. Louis, and and those people feel good about it. But uh, coach did a great job. Luke gives you a shooter. Obviously, played great program. He comes from uh, Chaminade and St. Louis. Have had great players, uh, and he's one of them. He gives you that that score, that shooter, that three point shooter. But he, I think he's more than that, and he wants. He really has some pride in getting better and he's gotten a lot better he he has some length he has some size uh for that for that shooting guard uh and he and he's, he's got a little more bounce than people uh i think even people know so you got a shooter you got the point guard you got the shooter um and then we had to get an athlete uh really you got you know one of the things i'm worried you lose xavier obviously it's going to be a major factor uh selton was one of the guys we Focused on early, um, I think one of the biggest things that happened, uh, West Oaks is, you know, a, a, a really, I guess, famous program, successful program, prep school program, and uh, the Coach Kenny, um, I, I, Coach Fraser had me go down a couple times. They knew Barry Brown. They watched us. They like how we play. Um, you know, and Selton just right from the start, I think we felt like he was a guy. He told Coach Henderson – uh, way uh, probably six weeks before he he actually committed uh, publicly that he was coming. He he loved what we were about, and he gives you an athlete his strength. Uh, plays so hard. Uh, the kids at West Oak, West Oaks just play unbelievably hard. Um, he opened up his season the other last night, thirty two and eight. And the thing that surprised me is I knew he was an athlete. I knew he could get to the hoop. But he can really shoot the three ball. And he, if you look at his stats, I think 42 last year. And he's continued to shoot it well. Um, and, and just a kid that is so happy 
to be here, you know, to be, uh, as he's a freshman, he comes over, him and his brother uh, from Angola, um, you know, there's, it's hard, and, and he's really adjusted, and, uh, you know, they, he's done a great job, and, and you, you feel good about him, outstanding young man, they, all three of them, all four of them are really good, and then Davion, you, you know, going back to Al McGuire, you need, it's a true aircraft carrier, um, he is a big body, big guy, uh, I thought he made I've watched him since his freshman year. Coach Lowry obviously has, has worked him hard. We've both done it since really probably eighth grade. And, uh, you know, he's had some ups and downs in his high school career. I think he, you know, his mom passing was not easy. Uh, he's he's kind of settled down, gotten some confidence. Thought he had a great summer. Uh, he, again, with Luke, part of Mocan, they win the, they win the Peach Jam, which is, notoriously the best tournament uh, of the AU's uh, circuit and uh, he he was a factor and you know so we we feel good about him uh, I think a great story a K-State recruiter was at his high school a couple of weeks ago and somebody mentioned hey he already committed um, and and she met him and we got a, un, an unbelievable email from her on how kind he was and what a great person. So we feel really good about all four of them as individuals, as people. They're very good players. Obviously, the ratings uh, are, are pretty good. and But the ratings, as we've always talked before, don't mean anything till they get here and get something done. So, But uh, you got to feel good about it. Uh, again, staff does a great job. I think one of the biggest things, and I, I emphasize it and I learned it at Purdue, it's not who you recruit but who you can get. And, and you really got to focus on the right guys that you feel fit K-State, the K-State model, our program, want to be here. And uh, we're fortunate to get, for, get those four guys. And we'll see if we add a fifth uh, as we move forward as the, you know, our roster unfolds here. But uh, I guess our next need or wish would be probably a, you know, somebody that you know, more is like Mac, a long athletic big guy to kind of compliment um, Antonio Monte and then Davion and, and Levi. So um, that's kind of where we're at, but, uh, you know, excited about it. Any questions about any of those guys? I, I guess my first question would be, what? Like, can you expand on that connection with St. Louis? And like, is that basically a well, pipeline? Like, yeah, uh, I mean, it. it I, I guess I, it's a good pipeline. Coach Lowry's done a great job, and he's, and he's, he's worked it. Um, you know, they he's, he's worked the guys since they're young. It's the one place, though, and I said before, if we can get kids here, we have a chance. They can make unofficial visits here. It's only five, five and a half hours. And we've been able to get some kids over. Luke been, was over a couple times. You know, Davian's people were over. So uh, when that happens, it gives you a chance. Uh, there's, you know, not many other places uh, geographically that we can get them over. But and I think there's a trust. Uh, obviously, we've had success with them. You know, you, whether it's, you know, Xavier, DJ, you know, now Levi, Sean. Um, you know, the, I, I, the people feel good about us, so we, we feel good about it. You kind of already said this, but you more or less signed, you know, a one, two, three, and yeah. a five yeah. off of getting, however you label them, a two and two fours, you know, the last year. Do you feel pretty good about just the, the, the spot distribution of those well, guys? Well, I think that's, a, you know, it's it, you got to build a team. And, and that's something I, I think I've learned through the years. You just can't take all shooters. You can't take all athletes. You can't take all big guys. you got to have a mix. And I think we have a great mix with, you know, these these three. You know, I think Montavious and, and Antonio are way better than anyone ever thought. You know, we felt pretty good about it. Um, you know, and going into it, obviously Deja was a late boomer and got the most pub, but you know he he gets stronger and learns. He's so you get it's it's a nice mix of group of, of guys to build with, and um, but and I think the what these freshmen have really bought into is what we are about, our DNA, and and they've they've exhibited more than anybody how hard they play and how they compete and they want to do well. So. Uh, hopefully we got enough people back that can get the next group to believe in it and keep it moving forward and, uh, you know, a bright future for K-State basketball. One more. <laughs> um, 
I guess I'm curious about Selton. Is he, is he one of the more physically gifted guys coming in? Yeah, there's no doubt. I'm sure you look at the highlights, and you know, on the. Uh, but I, the first time I saw him, I loved him. I, I just, he's a dog. You know, I, you, you want, it. and actually, Coach Fraser had started the recruitment with them before, um, and he, and he just said, Coach, he fits. You know, and then Coach Henderson took it over. Um, as I said, you know, Kenny, they, they like our program. It helped. Uh, you know, Barry, watching Barry and his progress, they know they knew that. So, you know, obviously that influence helped. Uh, but, you know, he'll guard. He wants to guard. He takes pride in it. Uh, he plays so hard. Uh, and, he, and, he, and he is better offensively than I thought probably initially. I, my first thing was, you know, I told the coaches – our number one thing we had to get was somebody with some physical presence, you know, at that wing spot to, because you obviously, you know, you have Xavier get spoiled with that. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can, he can give us that. Yeah. Down here, they have a couple more. I just wanted to ask, cause I mean, we, we hear about it and we as media members write about this a lot. And, and I just, I wanted to know whether it was a thing, but, the success of going to the Elite Eight, what you guys did, how much did these things at all play into it? Or were these guys already bought in regardless of I, No, I don't think there's any doubt. It, it, the attention, you know, what happened, the Elite Eight run, uh, that's a commercial for us every time. And, you know, they're talking about you. It, it's getting in the top 25 every time then. What highlights are on the top 25 teams? It doesn't matter which network they're putting you on. And uh, so, you know, that – Making that run, and then last year, you know, winning the Big 12. There's no doubt it, it, it added juice to it. And then you bring kids on campus, and we got a ring ceremony. And man, this is—they're getting a standing ovation, 55,000 people. Uh, you know, so a lot of good things. There's no doubt it helped. Got it, Matt. No. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you.